pilots are arriving in War Robots with the update 5.1. We have 4 minutes to show you how to command them. Let's go! Pilots help you hone your robots. All pilot skills work only with particular robots or weapons. This one is for Spectre, this one is for Shock Train, and so on. Some skills activate only in certain conditions. For example, perks from the Adamant line increase your parameters when the enemy is ahead, allowing you to make an impressive comeback. Some skills give huge bonuses, but are balanced out by some trade-offs. For instance, the Tough Guy trait makes your weapon weaker, but greatly boosts your ability in exchange. Similarly, Ghost trait makes you go faster at the cost of robots' ability. You hire pilots in the training center. Together, select the robot in hangar, press here, then switch tab. Here you can see three pilots you can hire. This list updates every day, but you can refresh it manually with some gold. Once you hire this pilot, he is forever with you. Pilots can be regular or legendary. We'll talk about legendary pilots later. Regular recruits arrive as blank slates, without skills and ranked private. They get their first skill once assigned to a robot. On this screen, press Train to unlock your first pilot skill. The skill you'll get depends on the current robot setup. Say, this pilot controls Hatchy with Orkans, so she receives skills for Hatchy or Orkans. Now you have the first skill. Off to a good start! To unlock pilots' full potential, you have to train them. Whenever you take the pilots into a fight, they gain experience. The better you fight, the more experience all active pilots get. Every time your pilot levels up, his or her skill gets stronger. Every 10 levels up, you can spend gold to promote the pilot and unlock a new skill to improve. Each pilot can learn up to 7 skills. Every next skill will also be related to the current build. Still don't like what you see? You can retrain the ability. You have two options, get a random skill for a small amount of gold or spend more and pick the exact skill you want. The best part here? You won't have to upgrade the retrain skill from the beginning. You'll save all progress and continue from where you stopped. You can also assign this veteran pilot to a new robot and retrain him for a new set of skills. Note that you cannot have multiple instances of the same skill. That's important. Until now we spoke only about regular pilots. Legendary pilots are a little different. First, they are rare. If you see them in the training center, it might be a good idea to hire them right away. A legendary pilot's first skill will always be a unique perk that no other pilots can have. Say, pilot Ninja Novak has a background of riding a stolen Ares, so she's a great fit for this robot. All pilots have their own procedural stories and covering something about the war robot's world. There are precisely 214,155,551 possible story combinations for regular pilots. I just made up the numbers, but you get the idea. Legendary pilots' names, faces and biographies, however, are strictly predefined. Their skills are tied to their background and or personality. Hal Rogers, for example, has a mechanic skill that is tied to Inquisitor. This skill passively restores durability when assigned to this robot. Kyle gets this from an old device he found during his latest story arc. You can read it on War Robots website. You'll be hearing more stories in the future. Stay tuned. And yes, you can have multiple Kyles. That doesn't make sense logically, but if you'll end up liking these characters so much he'll want to fill your hangar with their clones? That sounds weird, but who we are to stop you? Okay, we've made it in time. That was the guide for pilots. Now go, Commander, meet your new subordinates. Fight, train, and tell us your stories. Good hunting, Commanders!